1080p. Shoots 30 frames per second at 1080p. You can adjust it down to 720 at a little higher rate. I think it's at a, it goes up to 60 frames per second at 720. But it does have a, uh, it has the M Barella image processor in it. So it's real, it's a, it's a higher end image processor. So it's faster and the stream rates are really, really good. Um, it has a two inch display, the 130 degree wide angle. It has a video format as in movies. It's for MOV, which is quick time. Not a big fan of that personally, but it's not definitely not a negative. Um, it does, yeah, it does 720 at 60 frames per second, and the image format uh, resolution is 4 megapixels, uh, JPEG. It has built-in GPS. It has a parking assist system, if I'm not mistaken, like a lane deviation. I haven't tested that out yet. Uh, the instructions are actually pretty. It's in Russian and Spanish and several other languages, but the, right, the, um, the instructions themselves are, are, are pretty good. So inside the box here you have the camera itself. This is the camera here and it has a plastic piece on the back on the screen. There's also a little one you want to make sure you take off. It's actually on the lens which I've already taken off. So this is the camera itself. I'm going to need to power this one up before I use it. So on the side you have your uh, power in. You have an HDMI output. On the other side you have your card for your micro SD card. You have the power on and off. Um, the top is your mount piece. There's nothing on the bottom. There's a reset button here. And then in the back you have to control the menu structure. I'll show you that in just a moment. Just going to power this on. This sounds like a doorbell. And that's the monitor. So you can go through and set everything up pretty easily. And again, it has GPS in here. What's cool about the GPS? It actually monitors with the GPS on while it's taking you're taking video. When it does a looping video, you can set for one minute, three minute, and five minute increments. And at the bottom of the box, you guys can see in a moment, there is a lighter power adapter. There's two micro USB cables. One is a lot longer than the other one. So if you need a long one for power, you have it. And there is a suction mounting bracket here, which fits on the top. Your device. You can adjust it accordingly. So we're going to get in and adjust this here. And then this ring here sucks in so you can get a really good grip. Awesome. Okay, so let's go and take a look at it. So that's that's it right there in a nutshell. So it hasn't picked up, it hasn't locked into the GPS signal yet, which is interesting. The GPS is right there. This shows you the cards in, it's on power, and that's showing your a um, your video right now it's at uh, 1080p. And then you have your menu controls here, so you can click that, activate your menu, and you can up down. You can change all this stuff here. Okay. So that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and drive around a little bit, just real quick, and get some video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the video to the end of this review. So keep watching. A couple other things that it does have. It has a collision detection, so if the car gets banged while it's sitting here, it'll power off after a little while. So it'll power off. And see, so it just it just locked in just now to the GPS system here. So it's green now, by the way, we're watching it. Now it's recording in GPS. Okay. So it has a bunch of a detection system. Um, so what happens is, is, is if the car is off and it's on, you can leave it on, it goes into like a power saving mode, but if something bangs the car or, or knocks it like this, 
See, it just basically detected that little ass, that little thing. It basically, felt like something knocked the car. So what it does, it saves that video into its a form, a, a separate directory, so the file does not get deleted accidentally or written over. So if you have an accident, and you have that file saved. It doesn't get written over. Additionally, additionally. If the car's off, parked at night, whatever, and someone bangs into it, it automatically starts recording as well. So it'll turn itself on. If you park the car, you don't need to turn it off. It'll power down, and then when you go to start the car again and you go to move later, it'll power itself on for you. So it's got a lot of cool things. Um, in terms of the lane shifting, I'm not sure exactly how that works. You have to test that, and I'll, I'll do a little write-up and see if I can do a video on that as well. Um, that is about it. I think it's stopped recording right now because we're not moving. So if we start moving... It should go into record mode automatically, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. See, now it just started recording because we just started driving. So the recording started, and then when I stop the car in a couple seconds, it'll turn itself off in terms of recording. It'll stop recording. So let's go take a look at that and see how it works. while we're talking it should stop recording here in a second but anyway that's it so there's a lot of a lot of good stuff built into this there's a lot of brains into this you know there's a lot, it's, it's a really nice system it's a i think it's currently listed at 169 dollars a little pricey but i think because of the quality that you get with it you get the large display in the back it's very you know it does not have a rear camera uh, i haven't tested another one that has a rear camera i see it just stopped recording just now because we stopped moving it stopped recording so all good things. This is good stuff. Um, it's a great camera. I'm going to fool around with it a little bit over the next day or so. See what I can, you know, test-wise what I can do with it. And I will do my write-up and review. And um, the link for the product will be below. Please purchase it from there. And if you have any questions about the camera, I'd be happy to ask them for you. And again, as always, thank you for watching.